Yes. First time. <laughs> Any of you ever been taken to bed on a lie? I bet most of us have. Of course, I'm a virgin. I don't know, it's never been this floppy before. Or my own, my own personal favourite. You know I love you, darling. <laughs> but there's a story, seriously, there's a story on the front page of today's Guardian that throws a new light on the subject. A 26 year old woman named only as Anna says she feels violated after discovering the eco warrior she'd been sleeping with was, in fact, that undercover cop Mark Kennedy. She slept with Mark, who was known as Mark Stone, when he was undercover guys, more than 20 times after meeting him at various protests. But she says she now feels abused because he was effectively being paid by the old bill to have sex with her in order to gain information. Does she have a right to feel conned? Yeah, I think she does. But has she been violated? Because as I said earlier, we've all told the odd porky to get someone into bed. A third of fellas admit lying on a first date to impress the woman they're with. And nearly half lie about their job, 38% about uh, their relationship history, nearly 20% about the car they drive, you saddos. Oh. <laughs> but are these untruths any different? I suppose they must be, it's all a matter of scale. But there's another tale in today's Daily Telegraph which taps into the same debate. An Israeli Arab fella has been charged with rape after allegedly telling a series of Jewish women he slept with that he was, in fact, a Jewish Air Force pilot. And in Israel, <laughs> lying about personal details that might be important to a woman can lead to a rape charge. And I'm just wondering, Tracy Ann, whether you think we might need a law like that in this country? I know, it's, it's, a, it's very interesting, and one that I can't jump in in my usual <laughs> opinionated fashion. It's a, it's a, the, um, this, this, uh, the policeman Let's start with did not first. have to sleep with, there has to be ways of being an undercover. But he went native, so at some point, he appeared to stop being a policeman and become the thing that he was pretending to be. I knew a woman who uh, I can't say much about her but other than she also went undercover and had to cover a very high-profile murder charge to um, follow the man and become involved with a man that they thought had murdered her. And she had to spend about seven years doing it and she was constantly up against it to put the relationship into a sexual way and she, she was un she she didn't want to do it because it crossed the boundaries so you you can you don't have to go naked. But he also he also crossed the boundary but he did cross the boundary he, she did. didn't do it because right. it's not in your guideline but he crossed over so at some so point he stopped being she a was copper violated. so if he was a full-on copper mm. and he's still taking the copper's money all the, uh, the police money all the way so through but at one point, he was an undercover copper hell-bent on busting the eco-warriors, but at some point he during his seven years undercover, he started working with them. He went Kurt. Yeah. He went there. No, true, yeah. but then he was still taking the uh, the, the still shilling. taking the money. So, but I think she was violated. I think the problem is sex is about attraction, isn't it? And, and it's about uh, a meeting of minds and spirit and body, and then all of that turns into the pheromones and chemistry that makes a really great sexual liaison. I just thought it was anybody who said yes. <laughs> 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 so what I mean is, is, it's less about so you're attracted to how somebody looks, but you've got all everything else that surrounds them. So I suppose in some respects, if somebody is spinning you a yarn, so that you think there's a sort of uh, there's, there's depends what the yarn is though, doesn't it? it? Has to depend on what the yarn is. If it's, I mean, the one that I think is really interesting is I'm a millionaire because we know lots of women are attracted to people that are powerful. Uh, there are loads of girls out there that chase footballers because they're really rich. Oh. So if somebody makes out and portrays themselves and somehow manages to convince the woman that they're trying to entice that they are a multi-millionaire and fabulously wealthy, and they give them the, 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 the goods, then does their... And the truth then comes out, that's pretty hardcore. The Arab Israeli one's interesting, hardcore. though, because, yeah, there you're, you're, you're assuming you come from a similar background, similar, you know, you're thinking this relationship is going to go further. You know, I suppose you're, you're thinking we have a, what is it they call in marriage guidance, henna, history, expectations, needs and assumptions. There's all of that going Whoa, oh, let me write that Thank one you. down. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, to make a marriage, to make a... They never uh, said that in my marriage guidance. Didn't they? <laughs> I know that because my mum was a marriage guidance. No, they say to, for most relationships to work, you need to have for he, he, henna. History, expectation, needs and assumptions. So if you're meeting somebody who says they come okay. from a similar class and background okay. and religion... Do, do you, you think we need a law? Uh, for, the more, for the more extreme cases where someone deliberately beguiles and misleads somebody else in order to get them to have sex? You're saying no, Russ? No, it's, it's ridiculous. Certainly not bringing religion, mixing it with law at all. That's for other countries, not for us. But uh, as I think... You can't, um, I mean, I, I just, I don't know when he revealed it. Did he rip off his fake beard at the end and went, I don't even like hummus, unless you run out screaming. <laughs> I think it's absolutely impossible to legislate and it's going to get very messy and everyone's going to be suing each other if we say, if we tell a lie that makes someone feel more sexually attracted to us, 
then afterwards you could be prosecuted so for that anything lie. Anything goes. I you can think say you what could, you like. You could, you could say that people in a position of trust, but, and here's a link to the, to the BBC, if you like, particularly when the state's paying for you to be in a position of trust, then perhaps people should be legally protected. There's already a, a law that stops teachers, even if a girl is over the age of consent, uh, a teacher cannot sleep with a girl who's 16 to 18. Yeah, but that's, 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 a, that's a, a fact, isn't it? Yeah, but he's, they, in, a position they, of they trust. Are... he's so... in a position of trust to protect us by the state. Maybe there should be a law for misleading people, men and women, sexually misleading So you're saying there should be a law? But I, should be able to go, I should be able to go into a bar and go, oh, I speak Russian, my Lamborghini's outside, but let's meet by the skip first. What yeah. about if I... <laughs> <laughs> Tell me that you're unmarried. All right, so take it. So I meet somebody on a dating website. I'm desperate to get married. I want to have children, and then this man comes along, and we go out for a long time, and it turns out that he's married and got children, and he's been bedding me. But that is not the state's business. That is that is a moral issue. No, you keep confusing. You keep confusing things. The state has nothing to do with this. This is law between. It would be criminal law that one person talking to another. So leaving the state is criminal law. The state. It's not. No, it doesn't. The state is separate from the legislature. No, but what I mean is we can't have a law that stops me saying, oh, I'm not married, and then it turns out I am. It's, you, well, that's, that, but that, but that's the whole debate, is if it goes so far that you... Uh, that the lies that you spin are deliberately done to entice someone to have sex with you, that's what's and that person then goes against... that would otherwise go against their normal... Uh, Wishes. So a woman who, who in Tracy Ann's example, someone desperate to marry somebody, yeah. this person presents themselves as unmarried. As a consequence, this woman has a result with the bloke and then finds out he is in fact married. She has been deliberately duped by this man. Yeah. Has she been violated? No, don't be so gullible. Not been violated. I mean, check so who you're gullibility. sleeping with. Check who you're in a relationship but with. How, how, how where are you supposed to check when they're lying? I would know if a woman is married or not. I would she, know. I have the intelligence to work out. But she, if a must woman have is a, she must have a leg to stand on because he is in there. He, as a policeman, there's so a reason he's there for. There to actually bust them for something. Yeah. So the case here, th this he could have pretended he was a homosexual and just left her yeah. alone. I think. It's yeah, he didn't you know, need to cross He didn't over. Need, not need to go there. He should have done his job. But he may have thought initially that this is a great way of getting information. No, in which case, it would have been a violation. Would it have been a violation? But the, poli no, but the, oh. but the police are very clear that you don't have sexual no, liaisons. No. So he did cross over. But, but he crossed over not just by. Breaking, breaking the, the policeman code, but he became yeah, he one went, of them. So that's where it gets muddled. Because did he really have yeah. a relationship as himself having crossed over? Absolutely. And did that sexual relationship happen well before yeah, he crossed maybe over? Maybe as a consequence of that sexual relationship, he also became an eco-warrior yeah. himself. Maybe the police need to be more careful about who they send... Oh, that, that's for sure. But what about, what so about, and green. <laughs> but what about the rest of us, Mark? Do we need, you know, a woman, that the woman desperate for a husband, desperate to have a family, who is deliberately misled? No, no, I think we just need to be smarter about things. Absolutely. Just try and be smart. Smarten up. I mean, as we yeah. dumb, 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 dumb down, we can't have rules against dumbness. I mean, yeah. that's just that's something society has to look to, getting yeah. smarter on When the truth subsequently comes out, then you're just a gull, you're a fool, you're not a victim of someone who has no, criminally of, of misled you. You're a sociopath who's, um, who's led you down the wrong path, and you can go, bah. I'm not sure, you know. I, I think it's... There is, there is, I think, an extreme end to this debate where perhaps... The victim should be protected by law. Um, but let's throw it to you, see what you have to say. Mm. Okay, we'll take Cheryl first on line one. What do you reckon, Cheryl? Well, I think it's consensual sex. If you're stupid enough to believe every word that comes out of your bed partner's mouth, it's your own fault. If you have bedded him or her merely on the basis of their status, job, money, or political views, that just makes you shallow. Yeah, but then you're not having, con you're not having consensual sex if the person you're consenting to have sex with oh, yes, isn't the person it's, uh, you think of. No, 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 no. If they've said yes, and I've said yes, and it's consensual. So all people that are victims of con men are consensually having uh, are, are consensually of happy. They are because they want to believe into the con. I can only be conned if I want to be conned. But if you have sex with somebody because you find everything about them attractive, not just the physical, but then everything that you found attractive about them was a complete con, that isn't consensual, well, is it? Well, then, again, as Russell said, it's a moral issue that somebody's lied to me. The only thing wrong with this person that uh, had bedded this eco-warrior, her pride is hurt. Her pride's hurt. So her, the man that she's fallen in love with ha has, has destroyed her heart or whatever, or blah, blah, blah. It's, it's a moral issue. Uh, and it, you cannot, I think it's really dangerous to, to throw the word rape into the situation. Yeah. So that's a totally different matter. Yeah. That's when somebody takes you by force. That's when you say no. This woman so said for, yes. So you're saying that in, in rape, for, uh, rape, the force has to be physical. You can't use force that's verbal. Oh, no, 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 no. OK, then I need to differentiate. You're absolutely correct. It doesn't always have to be force. Absolutely. You can be raped with that because women don't, uh, don't always, um, let's say, um, 
fight there's, against their attacker. There's also and, the, there's um, the whole argument, Cheryl, about when, when, when people are... Of, of pedophilia. There's a whole argument in rape uh, about when, when both parties are really drunk and no-one knows what they're doing. And in that particular instance, now we're told that the man has to be wary of having sex with a woman who says yes because she's drunk, because she really may mean no. Now, that, to me, is just as, a, just as a flimsy argument for rape as a woman having sex with a man who just tells her a whole load of lies. She was emotionally violated. Yeah. I mean, it may not be physically, but she was emotionally violated and she was duped into yeah. believing... Yes, but I've only been emotionally violated. It's still a moral issue. My feelings are hurt, that's all. I, if I go to bed with somebody, that person tells me he's a millionaire, then why am I going to bed with him? Because I find him attractive or because he's got millions of pounds and he can buy me a boat? But that is different. <laughs> no, that is different. That what, what, is different what? to being with somebody who you think shares passionately your political belief. I mean, I agree with yeah. you, the, the gold diggers get their own stuff, but if you believe somebody shares your passion for your politics, your mm -hmm. outlook on life, everything that you talk about passionately, they're saying they absolutely agree with, that's a meeting of minds. And mm -hmm. when it turns out that person has been paid to sleep with you... Still, but he still only hurt my feelings. If I, if I yes. cannot differentiate whether that person is lying to me about everything that comes out of his mouth, then no. what kind of person does Cheryl, that Cheryl, uh, the so only, I cannot, Cheryl, I cannot tell the difference between somebody... The only thing I can say to counter that is the whole profession of con artistry is based on convincing people otherwise. So yeah. that, that's how it works. People do get conned, OK? And conned out of money and conned out of sex. You know, conned out of money is a crime. Conned out of sex, not necessarily. Hmm. OK. Cheryl, thank you. Let's have another. OK, we have Greg next on line two. Greg, good morning. Hey, how are you doing? You all right? I'm very well. Would you ever lie to get anybody into bed, Greg? Sorry? Would you ever lie to get anybody into bed? Uh, yes, actually, I did. And that was um, the reason I was calling up. Right now, I quite like your, what you were just saying about being conned, OK? But how about playing certain women at their own game? I mean, I, when I was younger, I used to wear, like, a wedding ring and stand at bars and stuff like that. You know, um, and then when you get to attract the attention... Is Jeremy Kyle not on today, <laughs> Greg? <laughs> <laughs> you used to play their own game. You, you know, used to I mean, at the end of the day, these are women who would say um, would be looking for, you know, a married man in the first place. Yeah. You know? but OK, and, what, and Greg, Greg, they're looking for a married man because they don't want to get involved, they have a certain view about the relationship they want to get interested in, that maybe it just yeah. be a sexual relationship. I guess if, if, if all they want is sex and they want it from a married man, then you're entitled to put on a wedding ring and pretend to be a married man, I guess. Right. So, I mean, looking from that point of view... But... <laughs> No, but no, I mean, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't agree with, say, somebody, you know, trying to wreck somebody's life, spending sort of a lot of time with them, taking them out and yeah. buying them, but, I Was mean... that, well, OK, uh, uh, how far... I'm looking for sort of one-night stands and whatnot, but, if that's but, one way of getting it. But how far, <laughs> how far, Greg, Greg, you, you say you wouldn't approve of someone who set out to do uh, all those things, to, to perhaps deliberately con someone, OK, and lead them down the garden path, but not approve? How far would you go? Would you say that that's a, a criminal act? Sorry, say that again? If you say you don't approve of someone that would deliberately mislead someone in order to have sex. Yeah. OK, well, would you go so far as to say that you, in your disapproval that in some instances it would qualify as violation, as rape, and that there should be some kind of criminal act? Um... Uh, in the most extreme it's cases? Kind of, it's kind of a tough one, isn't it? Because, I mean, you kind of... You've got to kind of look at the circumstance. I mean, me, when I was younger, I used to sort of look for women that kind of wanted one-night stands and that was it, yeah? Um, one way of, I knew that, you know, one way that did work was to, say, wear a wedding ring and give them a bit of spiel about what loving husband and ride 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 when I was single and, you know, when I was a bit out of order. But I think really to sort of, um, I think really to sort of just, you know, point blank light at people, you know, go out and dance with them, you know, for them to get their hopes up, you know, and think that there could be a long-term relationship yeah. for it all to be based upon a lie, I think there is definitely something a bit criminal about that. OK, OK. I'll, I'll, I'll happily wrap up the part with that. Thank you very much, Greg. <laughs> anybody deliberately wow. puts on a wedding ring in order to go on the pool. <laughs> for the record, I've had mine on for, what, five and a bit months now, and I haven't had anybody hit on me, but there we are. <laughs> Matthew, you know that's not... What <laughs> <laughs> don't, 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 don't delete what happened backstage. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's move on. 